My name is Graeme Dark, I'm a Senior Lecturer in Medical Oncology and I'm based at the University of Newcastle. Um, it is reasonably competitive. Uh, generally, uh, it's not completely oversubscribed when applying at ST3. Uh, it depends where you want to work. So the competition may be, for example, in the Thames Deanery, where people have trained as an SHO and they want to stay in London. So you may find there are 10 to 15 applicants per post. Here in Newcastle, fewer people want to come to Newcastle, but it's a really nice place, so please come. Uh, and we may find that there is one person per post applying and therefore the likelihood of success is, is very good. Uh, there are posts that are sometimes vacant and haven't been filled, whilst there are others that are heavily oversubscribed. So in general there is competition. Uh, some people believe that in order to make themselves more competitive they have to have done research. That is not necessary. If you've done a good audit project and you've perhaps done a case review, a case report, uh, uh, that would also count with equal weight. If you have been engaged in teaching activities, that would also score highly in the application process. Nevertheless, what you have done is what gets you on the shortlist for the interview. How you perform at the interview is what gets you appointed. There will always be questions around your clinical ability. So there'll be a scenario, tell me how you'd manage somebody with sepsis who had chemotherapy 10 days ago. Uh, and there will be principled answers uh, expected. Uh, and there may well be also an understanding about oncology in general, the career that is available, and maybe some of the structures in the NHS. Um, but those are areas that are typically questioned in an ST3 interview.